Hanna Zahorna. Yes, Hanna Zahorna. Thank you so much for having me here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. It's very and nice. as always, I mean, I've seen your art. It's gorgeous. I love the watercolors. And um, I was wondering, how did you get all started in your artistic uh, endeavor? When, when did it all start? What inspired you? Actually, it started uh, very early. It, it, it very, my father's sister, she, she was an um, uh, artist. She, she is artist as well. Okay. And the, the paints and paper and, and art, art stuff was everywhere. And I did my first mm. steps and probably something <laughs> grabbed my attention. And I, I tried and I, and I like it. But, and then I entered to uh, art school in Kiev, Ukraine, it's uh, quite famous art, old tradition art, art school uh, named uh, Shevchenko. Um, from the age kids started from the age of 11, 12. And, oh, really? Yeah. So you, so you were in the art um, educational system in Ukraine, Shevchenko, mm -hmm. for how many years? Uh, for uh, six years, six. Uh, yes. Okay. So, so it's yeah. pretty comprehensive then. Yeah, and then you entered uh, the like like a plan as a plan mm -hmm. first school, then university, like mm -hmm. art academy. Mm -hmm. You so you did a broad a broad spectrum of, of studies. Mm, actually, you touched yeah. upon pretty much everything in a sense. Yeah, and and you got into. Um, Watercolors? Was this always your? your no. <laughs> you were, you were, tell uh, me about that. Yeah, yeah. I had uh, watercolor training uh, years ago at school, uh, but we never studied watercolor as separate material. We never been taught how to use it uh, broadly, because um, like in a creative manner, you mean? Great. Like, I, so I they mean, gave you the discipline, but they yeah, didn't, they they didn't the allow you the, the freedom to say, okay, you express yourself. Yeah, or? yeah. Do whatever you want. I, I worked as a graphic designer. Okay. I, I learned computer yeah. design, and uh, in my free time, I proceed oil, mm. oil paintings. Mm. And I back to watercolor probably around 2016, something mm. like that. Mm -hmm. or print. These are not prints. These are originals. No, no, these are originals. Yeah. yeah. And, and people. A website. Yeah, I have a website. So what is your what is your website? We'll share it with everyone. Uh, Zagornaya dot weebly dot com. Okay. Pretty googled Hannah Zahorn and my site and uh, will like be right away. Up. My Instagram, my Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I try to be present in yeah. social media. I know it's important. And the team was like very close to me because it was it called Marvelous Montreal. So mm -hmm. that's what I do uh, yeah. lately. I, I do a lot of Montreal scenes. Scenes, I know, I noticed yeah, that. Because, because I like Montreal. This is, like, it's... these are very nice, the it's, snowy scenes. It's snowy scene, my favorite, yeah. I also saw, you don't, um... you don't have it here. You had, um, like, the, the Jacques Cartier Bridge. Yeah, um, I, uh, over there, one, one of them. Small, oh, yes, okay, yeah, there's one ones. of them. Yeah I, yeah, I do a lot. I do a lot of uh, uh, Montreal. As uh, um, you have the pink house, pink house, on yeah, yeah, pink house, sure, that is so cool. sure, like pink that house, one. Christmas edition. I always pink. wondered if somebody was living there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that not. No. <laughs> it it even doesn't have a, a floor. Oh no! Yeah, it, yeah, it's empty. It's just from, a shell. Oh, okay. It's just a yeah, I guess nobody's living presentation. There, except the birds, maybe. Uh, so yeah, and Montreal is my the favorite favorite subject of my mm. um, paintings and did the calendar um, yeah. yeah so th this is uh, it could be like so every month presented that uh, it's, it's like the seasons also the seasons yes yeah, seasons i like to oh, sorry uh, i like montreal in in every oh, season wow. touristic yeah. season also yeah. <laughs> it's a very important part part of montreal so all montreal tourism. yeah all montreal yeah. of course yes like Oh, Montreal, a very busy area. Yeah, beautiful. So yeah, fall. Yeah, so it's uh, it's nice. It's very very interesting. Um, and we can find your calendars on your website. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have clients in even in the US. Yes. Yeah. It's mostly people who was born and raised and lived in Montreal, okay. and then they moved. They moved. You know, they, lots of people and, moving yeah. to US. Uh, 
it's warmer there. They're very <laughs> iconic. Yes. Yeah, but they miss. It's mm -hmm. what, what's what's what else I like about Montreal. This is a place that you can easily miss. <laughs> yes, it is. Montreal's a great city. Yeah. yeah. And the architecture is gorgeous, and the, yeah. the whole feeling and the vibe is very nice. And every neighborhood yeah. absolutely different from. I know it's like visiting a different country, right? It's yeah. like you want to you want to see you know Greece go go, yeah, go exactly. to little Italy go yeah it's very nice I like that I like that variety it's that's, very cosmopolitan that's why, this is why <laughs> yeah yeah it turned out really turned out really nice so do you have any upcoming projects thinking it over like to make a, a group exhibition I like group exhibitions mm -hmm. because yeah, more uh, fun more fun more mm -hmm. people. Uh, more of a variety yeah you know, I, and, and also it, it costs to to rent a place so if yeah. you have a few people joining in it reduces the, the cost and you get to exhibit yeah exactly it's, it's also a reality that we have a lot of artists yeah yeah I've, I've I was on patisserie Nancy on Monkland yes. and people who came to buy <laughs> some food mm -hmm. they met me and oh and that's why that, that, that's how I had clients yes yeah. Yeah, yeah you have to sort of expose yourself and put yourself out there that's yeah. community thing uh, very 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 good here uh, yeah, I don't know other parts of Montreal but I suppose that in general it works it mm -hmm. works very good and mm -hmm. uh, uh, we don't have this in my country uh, like yeah. strong communities it's something that you probably you've built for years mm -hmm. And it's it's very good. Yeah. When people in community they help each other. Mm -hmm. You have you been part of the um, NDG Art Hop? Yeah, I am. Okay, yeah. good. So yeah. to two years, mm -hmm. you know. I also enjoy uh, teaching art. I also like to um, to do some workshops to to teach people how to draw. I see that you do um, cities. Mm -hmm. Basically, Montreal. Have you done any other cities or any other? You Sometimes, said, yeah. yeah. Kiev, uh, my, mm -hmm. my 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 city where I was born and grew up and lived for. The city has more inspiration for me in general, because the vibes, because of yeah. the energy, because lots mm -hmm. of people there. I'm more inspired by people. Mm -hmm. And what they do, and when when they rush somewhere, when they do do something, um, landscapes. Uh, I saw a lot of your paintings, and I saw dogs. Right, there's always somebody walking a dog. Uh, yeah. And I was wondering, <laughs> is it the same dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are two dogs actually. Yeah. yeah because it's Montreal. Yes. Dogs, oh, yeah, bicycles, yeah. ah, snow biking. Uh, oh yeah, it's, Montreal. It's true. Eh? They, it, they they ride bicycles all all through winter. And, uh, this is something special. I yeah. I never heard of this. I have a question for mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the are these? Do you take photo photos first and then do the painting? Mostly like this, yes. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, going on vacation sometimes it's the, the weather condition is not not mm -hmm. good. But it's better to do both. I have um, sometimes I have a small. Uh, um kind of notebook something like that and mm -hmm. I, I i just little sketch do little sketch like to yeah. to uh to um so it helps you remember when it you helps actually me start remember, yeah. remember okay yeah. yeah because uh when when i do photo the photo um, sometimes it's not true like mm. the perspective can be very okay uh, can be a bit ruined by yeah so, so it loses it doesn't have the same feeling Right. Yeah, and yeah. the same feeling exactly. Yeah. So, so Hannah, I'd like to ask you what uh, what process do you use uh, in in my paintings? Yeah, yeah. I actually uh, work very quickly um, most of the time. When you're painting something, you're painting quickly. Yeah, yeah, I I, I like it because watercolor allows you uh, to work quickly, and it not only allows it. It demands that you have to work quickly mm -hmm. because uh, the, the paper um, change the wetness conditions. It, yes. First, it's very wet and you can do um, something very blurry, something that attracts attention, something like light, uh, yeah. like, like um, reflection. 
and you have to do it right away. You you, you can't go, go and drink coffee. You have to work mm -hmm. as long as it's wet. And then it dries mm -hmm. uh, it, and it, it goes into the other condition and mm -hmm. you have to do another thing like uh, background thing, like faraway trees, for example. Mm -hmm. And then it dries completely and only then you have to, you can um, make uh, very sharp uh, shapes like, like people, more details, or something. details, exactly. So That's you, why you have to work quickly. It, so you do more of a foundation first. Yeah, yeah. And then once you have the foundation, you start bringing the details on it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And to paint it in one go, it calls a la prima. Mm -hmm. So I use mostly this technique. And that's why I, I do it very fast. And, uh, so if somebody wants to, to, um, to ask you uh, for, let's say, a commission, to, they, yeah, yeah, you I can do, do it. I do it. But, do it. <laughs> but it's not going to be exactly... No, as... and, and that's, that's the beauty of the process and that's the beauty of this because you never have uh, two the same paintings. Yeah. Some people ask me uh, do commission and they ask me to add them, themselves in a painting like their family okay yes. i do that a lot i do that oh. a lot yeah yeah oh, that's good so you... watercolor is very uh, very interesting and um, actually i think uh, it's you can um, there is no limitation mm -hmm. yeah you you can you can do whatever you can start from the dark colors mm -hmm. and and go to light mm -hmm. or opposite there is no rules actually at school, we've been taught that first you do something lighter, mm -hmm. then darker, darker. It's not like that. That's not the truth. Not necessarily, no. No. I mean, if you have a, a night scene, you'd be yeah. darker in a sense, right? Yeah. The sky yeah. would be darker blue, maybe. Mm -hmm. And you can always control this. I, I also have uh, I, not only originals, I sell also prints. So if people are not ready to buy something expensive, uh, mm -hmm. I made Christmas cards yes. from my paintings, so I, I like the the print of my painter and and, and he, painting and here like Merry Christmas and yeah. the next perfect they Christmas make nice card. Gifts. They yeah, make nice yeah, gifts. yeah, small gifts. Yeah. yeah, I have my paintings right now. Oh, at Patricia in Nancy. No, uh, oh. Moonshine Barbecue. Moonshine Barbecue. Where's, what's the address? Um, it's um. I, how Northland. long is it going to be there for? until i uh, take it off <laughs> okay so so then so then there's time because yeah uh, the, yeah. yeah yeah probably uh, uh until february yeah, oh, I, okay. I wasn't i had no plans for this painting for for now do you know where it's located approximately um, it's actually beginning of uh very it's right next to uh premier mason okay everybody knows premier mason on monkland on monkland yes yeah. Okay. Premier yeah. Ranson and then yeah, Moonshine. Good. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. okay. It, it, they opened recently uh, and they have very good location. They have perfect walls for hanging okay. art. The, the walls made of bricks, they look fantastic. Yeah, I, they have uh, five uh, my big paintings hanging mm -hmm. on the walls. How big are they? Uh, bigger than this. I would like it. I mean, if, if you know, it's, it's obviously, you know, for you to decide, but I would love to meet again, maybe down the road, six months or a year down the road and see how, you know, ah, the where progress, you are, the progress and where you're at and what Perfect. stories you have, you know, that's a good idea. Um, that's a very, very good idea. Uh, yeah, because the whole point of it is to support the local artist and give exposure and, you know, and this type of thing. So I, I think it's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'd yeah. like to follow through with it. And, Thank you so uh, much for doing that. Uh, no, you're most most welcome. Job. For me, it's a pleasure. I love doing it. Hannah, uh, thank you so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank thank you. you for your time, and uh, we'll definitely, um, hopefully, have a, a good word out for you. And thank you. We need to support our <laughs> local artists. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh... My pleasure. <laughs> And thank you for the coffee or tea. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. It's just the tea. Mm.